Cardiff Blues took on Gloucester in the first of two Anglo-Welsh semi-finals. And it was the latter who got off to a flying start. Bill Meeks dotted down in the corner. <laughs> Defending champions were pegged back not long after, though, as Dan Fish got things level with a score for the Blues, and coupled with a conversion, so the Welsh side take the lead. Purdy and Fish exchanged scores to keep things tight between the two sides. Oh, that. Well, Steph Reynolds scored one of the solo tries of the tournament for the Cherry and Whites. The 20-year-old Welshman took the long way round and showed electric pace as he slid under the post to give his side a 19-14 lead after the conversion. <laughs> and they certainly didn't have to wait long for the try that would eventually kill off the Blues. The kick off not gathered cleanly. Sam Shower was on hand to win another for Gloucester. They will progress through to face the winner of the next semi final. The final score of Cardiff oh. Blues 14, 13 to 12. Either Newport Gwent Dragons or Harlequins would progress through to play Gloucester in the final. And it was the home side Quins who would get off to the quickest start. Only Lindsay Hague at the centre of the sweeping counter attack, which resulted in Ian Clark getting the first score of the match. It's been the best effort of Luke Morgan. <laughs> Morgan was in the thick of things once again, this time at the right end for his side, as he got the scores level. of controversy next as Coach. JP Doyle disallowed McLeod to clear score for Quinns, judging Joe Mark seems to have been held up. The two sides exchanged scores before feet, Dan Pease got a scrappy try in the corner for the hosts. <laughs> but the never say die attitude from the Dragons showed as Sam Cross bulldozed his way up the field before offloading to Johnny Lewis who ran in under the posts. to the final, defending champions Gloucester, final score Harlequins 15, Dragons 19.